My name is Brandon Miller. I'm a goalkeeper for the Charlotte Independence. I started playing soccer when I was five years old. My dad got me in the game and I figured out shortly after that I wanted to be a goalkeeper. I loved diving around. I hated running, so I stuck with it and it's gotten me to where I am today. 2015, won goalkeeper of the year. We won a championship, only lost one game that year. Um, first team all league. That was probably, you know, the highlight of my career so far, but hopefully, you know, I can get back to those heights again. If I wasn't playing soccer right now, I would probably be doing something in the business world while I was starting my own business. Um, you know, I like to, I've started two, two businesses already, and I think that if it weren't for soccer, using that platform to start a business would be in, in another aspect. They have a marketing degree, so I'd probably be doing something there. I think the best advice I've received so far is probably from my, uh, my goalkeeper coach. Uh, in college, actually, you know, he told me that your, your energy really affects other people around you. You have to see yourself as a leader, and whether you're third string, whether you're first string, you have to realize that you step in into a locker room every day. The, your attitude really uh, reverberates around the locker room onto the training pitch and, and how you train. So that was a big thing for me that I've always thought about, whether I've been first string, whether I've been third string, I've always got to have the right attitude stepping into training. Honestly, growing up, I, I didn't watch a lot of soccer until I got a little bit older, but you know, I can remember Shaka Hislop was always one of my favorites, you know, being an African-American goalkeeper, uh, seeing someone playing at the highest level like him, it inspired me. Outside of playing soccer, uh, I'm, I'm really involved in the game um, off the field. I've got my own goalkeeper glove brand, as well as an indoor facility here in, in South Charlotte, so that, that takes up a lot of my time. But uh, I love being involved with kids, uh, trying to help them develop their game and try to get them to either the level I'm at or a higher level. You gotta be resilient. Um, you know, if you, you believe in yourself, you gotta gamble in, on yourself, I tell that. To the kids all the time I, I, on my podcast on my blog we you've got to you've got to take advantage of your opportunities and you also got to gamble on yourself and, and realize that you have the talent you have the skill you got to you're going to go through ups and downs every goalkeeper has gone through it every player has gone through it but the, the, the resilient ones are the successful ones prime focus goalkeeping started back in 2016 because i wanted to do something on my own i had the marketing degree i wanted to use that that knowledge that that uh, that entrepreneurial spirit to kind of build something of my own um, I, I you know, went through the process of searching manufacturers, all that stuff, and designing and all that stuff. And, and you know, there's been ups and downs with it, but I, I started it because I want a way to impact young goalkeepers more so than just training them on the field. Five years from now, I obviously want to be playing at the highest level possible. You know, I came back to Charlotte because I wanted to help this club grow, um, move into an uptown stadium, and really make it one of the best clubs in the USL. So. Hopefully in five years I'm either here helping the team grow or I'm at a, a higher level where I can continue to compete, continue to play.